Hello, this is Jennifer Martinez. In this video, we're going to solve multi-step equations with variables on both sides of the equal sign. So what we would like to do is get all the x's on one side. We're going to always add and subtract using the addition or subtraction property of equality by adding or subtracting the same quantity to both sides to get all the x's on one side. So what I'm going to do is going to take that 6x instead of a positive 6x, I'm going to add a negative 6x or subtract a 6x. And if you notice, what I get is 10x minus 6x is a 4x. We still have the plus 15, but now we have that equaling 3. We have all the variables on one side. Now it's just a two-step equation. What I like to do is undo all the addition and subtraction. Next, so I'm going to subtract a 15 or add a negative 15, whichever way you would rather think about it. And so on the left side, we just have a 4x. On the right, we have 3 minus 15, or 3 plus negative 15, which is negative 12. Finally, we're going to get rid of the last, we have a one-step equation, and we're going to get rid of the multiplication of 4 by dividing by 4, undoing that, and you get the answer x equals negative 3 is the answer to the first equation. Now let's do the second one. The second equation, before I start undoing, I notice that I can simplify each side first. So if I look at the left side here, it's an expression. And we can combine like terms because x plus 3x is just 4x. The same with the right side. Negative 11 plus, because I have to think of these as addition, negative 15 is negative 26. But we still have that minus 3x. If you don't see this, let me do it over here. Because all subtraction needs to be changed to addition to be able to move these two around. So this is really a negative x added to a negative 3x added to a negative 15 because addition is commutative but subtraction is not. So now I can move these second two terms around to get a negative 15x, a negative 15 with a negative 3x. So I just switch those and you can see that's where I get the negative 26. You can call it a negative 26 plus negative 3x, or you can just say negative 26 minus 3x. So that's just a little side note on how I simplified that right side. Now it just looks like the first problem. I want to get all the x's on the same side by adding the same quantity to both sides. So I'm going to add a 3x to both sides. So we get a 7x. Finally, I have a two-step equation. I want to get rid of that plus 23. So I'm going to subtract 23 from both sides. And negative 26 minus 23 is the same as negative 26 plus negative 23, which is a negative 49. And finally, we're going to divide 7 by both sides and end up with x is equal to negative 7. So we add or subtract the same quantity from both sides or multiply or divide the same quantity from both sides until the x is alone. Hope that helps.